Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jose. My name is Matias. And in this video, we're going to show you a new mod that we have right now. Is this one? No, that's not that one. Is this one? Not that one. Is this Master Ghost Cube. And why scramble? Because I'm still trying to solve it. Let's just get into the video. Let's run the intro. First of all, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're planning a video every two weeks. Dad, you said it two videos ago. Anyway, let's get started. First of all, what is a ghost cube? It's not a cube that you put a blanket on top. It's a rotating cube, like this. Then, you have to offset the free layers. And this make this cube different by the shape and not by the color of the stickers. So to, for me to avoid doing all the extensions with epoxy, Joaquin Solborg, Solborg, did I say it right? Joaquin Solborg, Joaquin Solborg, in his fingerprints page, he has the files for the 4x4 extensions. Simple as that. Just download them. Download it, download it. Don't forget to leave a tip. Once downloaded, you can do two things. You can print it yourself or send to a 3D service hub. You have to pay for the service and also the shipping. Now, the interesting part of this is going to be careful on the settings that you put on the 3D printer. So let's go to Cura to see what we have. If you see here, there are many tiny pieces that you might need support. Also, you have to put base to stick to the table. The only thing you have to consider is to print layer by layer. Take your time. This is the main reason that you need support. You have small pieces and you also have this piece that may see that it's on the air. That's the main reason that you need a support. But this is the part that is gonna use for only one piece. That's what you need we need to have have it together. So now we need to make a bit of a cleaning. and take off the support. This is the place that the corner is going to be. All right. And this you have to do for every single piece for this cube. Be careful not pull that hard because you will see thin areas everywhere. Now, I have this cube. It was sent by my friend David Ang from CubeWorks. CubeWorks. It's a shop from Singapore. Have a look. They have a lot of prices. They have a lot of offers. Links below. The next step is simply glue all the extensions in this cube. So we have the top layer, the first middle, the second middle, 
and the last. You just need to do that, all right? At the time you're gluing each layer, you will notice some imperfections. So that's why it's important that in your configuration, try to, try to have a thickness enough so at, when you are sanding, you won't have any problem. Alright, finish assembling the cube. It's a bit stiff at the moment when I move. It's the first draft, it's time of sanding. It's gonna be really awesome. And we proceed with all the pieces the same way, one by one. Now, I need to fill up some gaps like here, maybe here between the layers. Yep, but um, now let's check it out if, if we can align it here, here and here. If it's not stopping, okay. Sounds sounds good. Well, not so solve it anyway. But for now, yeah. for now, I just need to check out only the moving parts. Now it's time for the painting. First of all, cover the mechanism. I use masking tape to cover the mechanism. I don't want to mess around with that. Now, when painting, I usually go for three coats of paint. The first one is basically a coat of primer. With that, I double check if I still have holes. If, it, if it, that happens, I have to fill up with epoxy again. Then after that, I apply two more coats of paint 
and chop time. Go back to Joaquin's page and download the sticker template. In this case, I use some metallic blue. Right, this queue is finally done. I'm not quite happy with the cuts I did with the, the stickers. I need to still work a bit more, but I like the contrast between the golden and the blue metallic. So now I need to spend like a month try to sort solve this one, but it's gonna be a good challenge. Done. Now that you know how to build this puzzle, I encourage you to do it at home. Download the files from Thinkybirds, print the extensions, glue together any shell or any 4x4 that you can use to make this beautiful puzzle. Paint it, put some stickers, it's easy. I think I can. Don't forget to subscribe. And click the like button down below. We are in Instagram. We are in Twitter. Facebook. We send a squeezy hug. See you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Let's do the bye. That's bye.